What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are back on the water. It's been a very, very long time since I've been on the water. Um, you know, it's just things happen. And uh, I was watching the baby for the last like month and a half and it's been probably the best thing I've ever done. Uh, a little bit more gratifying than fishing, so it's been worth it. But we're back out on the water. Uh, I'm gonna try some swim baits first to see what's around. If there's any bluefish, stripers, fluke, whatever, I should be able to catch with some some uh, some of the uh, swim baits. So let's grab a rod and head out onto the water. I start off with a half ounce boxer jig head with a 3.8 inch Kitek. See what happens. So before I start fishing, first I want to apologize for all the landscaping sounds, but I want to see if there's any active bait in the water. I know a month and a half ago when I was fishing, there was a, oh, here we go. Look at all that. That's all peanut bunker. More like teenage bunker. Ooh, ooh, something came up and ate them. All right, hang on, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop a line. It doesn't say no fishing on the dock, so here I go. There are, there are bunkers everywhere. Jeez. I don't know if you guys can see it in between the boats. This whole area is just bunker, beat up, abused bunker. All right, so now we know that there are a lot of bait in the water, a lot of different, we got uh, some spearing or something around there. So a bunch of bunker. Oh yeah, look at this. Bunker swirling everywhere. So we're gonna walk around and just see how much bait there is. See if there's anything busting on them where we can cast towards. Nothing here on the corner. And then try to catch something. It's been a while. Just for the heck of it, I had to buy a brand new cast net. Let's go see if I can catch some bunka. I'll show you some bunka. Brand new, never used. This is bunker. This is about the size that they are. Let's drop them back in there. Throw them back in the water. But this is what everything is eating right now. This and larger bunker. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of peanuts, a little bit smaller than this, everywhere too. But this is what is primarily going to be the forage of everything we're targeting for the next couple weeks. And they're everywhere. So this is about the average size of the bunker that I'm seeing here. And then there's there's a couple that are a little bit bigger like that so a couple different size presentations that we can throw so like a 3.8 or a 4.8 will be good because we got two different sizes running together that's good news so a couple more bait fish that we should be seeing really soon are um, mullet there should be some bigger bunker out in the water somewhere bay anchovies there should be some shrimp croakers 
uh, killies. There's a bunch of bait fish in our water right now, but the big thing that you're gonna want is that bunker because everything loves the bunker, but, but everything also loves is mullet. And mullet last a lot longer when you're using them as bait. So if you see a mullet school coming along the shore, most of the time they're, they're channeling the shoreline and just running up against the current or with the current. And um, they're like really long sausages, kind of. But if you can get yourself some mullet, they're gonna last a lot longer and uh, you'll be able to hook some flukes, stripers, bluefish, probably even some shark or rays, but really try to stay around those stripers and bluefish because uh, striper and bluefish gear uh, doesn't necessarily end up very well, uh, hand, handle very well with the sharks. I had to think of the word there. But all right, let's go to the next spot. So I don't know if there's anything in the water that's uh, worth catching, but there seems to be a bunch of little bait in the water, kind of like this little spoon here, which we sell on the website, uh, smoochandrelease.com slash shop. Uh, you can pick these up. There's um, a lot of bait just moving around in the water, so I'm assuming it's snappers. It's the time of year for them. So we're just gonna cast it out and see if we can get some, some snapper action. At least that, that'll give us a sign as to what's here. tiny snapper such a fun way this this rod is really just overkill for these guys but really you can be fishing little ultralights for like panfish for these guys Mwah. this is my big striper inshore rod a little too much so we got some current running back down here and the last couple years we've been catching most of our snapper in rips or on the edges or inside the current itself with these spoons. You'll see them in back bays around docks and stuff. You can catch them anywhere really. But just like every other predatory fish, I like fishing the rips for them. All right, so that was a good little scouting session. I knew there was gonna be some snappers around just because of the time of year, but I wasn't sure I was gonna catch that many in such little time. But now we're going to our next spot. I wanna see how much I can catch today. Uh, see how many different species, different baits in the water. So we're gonna throw the cast net a little bit and see what's going on everywhere that we could possibly do it. I think we're gonna get some more storms. It looked like it stormed pretty bad over here before. What's really cool about being back on the water is that I can finally see and smell everything that I just love. I love the smell of the tide. I love seeing the ospreys in the nest. This is the time of year that they're just, the babies are going and there's a lot more ospreys than there were. I mean, talk about a conservation uh, miracle. I mean, look at, look at how many ospreys there are everywhere on Long Island, it's insane. But let's go give some more places a shot. See what happens if we get stormed out. If we get stormed out, I'm gonna be fishing in the rain. Both cameras are waterproof. And I haven't been out in a long time. I love fishing in rain. Let's go. All right, so we drove a ways. I am trying to see if there's any bait running the shoreline. Typically this time of year, like I said before, we see a lot of bunker, mullet, spearing, bay anchovies, all these kinds of things just running the entire shoreline. And you see snappers chasing them. A lot of times when they're busting on the surface, you see a lot of fluke underneath. Like there's a bunch of spearing here. I can't show you, not gonna come up on the camera because of how dark the water is. But uh, yeah, typically this time of year, we see a lot of bait just running shorelines and getting smacked by fluke. So based off of my already established bait presence, I put on a little three inch bunker I think it's a, a tsunami shad, swim shad, or it might be the storm, I don't remember. But I'm just gonna see if I see anything busting and hopefully catch some fish.
a bluefish. It's a little bit bigger than those snappers we were catching. Demolished my swim bait. Didn't expect that, didn't plan to come to an inlet. I have my little rod, so. All right, mwah. squeeze his eyeballs out. He's gonna pop his eyes out of his head. Come on. We'll put him back. Ready? Bye bye. Ciao. Nice buddy. That's it. What an exciting time. I caught a couple bunker and grandpa snagged two. Yay, let's hear from grandpa and daddy. Yay. Clap hands, yay, clap hands, yay, yay for daddy and grandpa. Woo. All right, let's go. Yay.